Welcome to our channel. If is the first time you are watching my video, make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. So you don't miss more content to come. APT28, also known as Fancy Bear, is a Russian state-sponsored hacker group that has been active since at least 2007. The group is believed to be affiliated with the Russian military intelligence agency GRU and is known for its advanced tactics, techniques, and procedures. APT28 has been linked to several high-profile cyber attacks, including the 2016 U.S. presidential election interference. The group has also been known to target government organizations, military entities, and critical infrastructure. They have also been known to carry out cyber espionage operation, stealing sensitive information from private companies and organizations. One of the group's most notable tactics is the use of spear phishing attacks, in which they target specific individuals or organizations, with tailored emails that contain malware or a link to a malicious website. They have also been known to use a variety of other tools and techniques to gain access to target systems, such as zero-day vulnerabilities and custom malware. The group is known to use advanced malware such as Sophocy and Xagent, which have been used in various attacks, including on the German parliament, the French television station TV5 Monde and the Democratic National Committee DNC. In addition to its offensive capabilities, APT28 is also known for its advanced operational security, making it difficult for researchers and security professionals to track and attribute its activities. The group's activities have been widely reported and condemned by the international community. And various security firms have published detailed analysis and indicators of compromise, to help organizations protect themselves against APT-28's attacks. It is important for companies and organizations, to be aware of the threat posed by APT-28 and to take steps to protect themselves. Such as implementing strong email and network security measures, regularly patching software vulnerabilities, and being vigilant for any signs of a potential attack. Another tactic that APT-28 has been known to use is the use of watering hole attacks. In this type of attack, the group will compromise a website that is frequently visited by its targeted victims, and then use that website to deliver malware or steal sensitive information. Additionally, APT-28 is known for its ability to use various tools and techniques to maintain persistence on a victim's system such as using custom backdoors and leveraging legitimate system tools, to evade detection. It's worth noting that the APT-28 is not the only APT group of this kind. There are other APT groups that operates, from other countries like China, North Korea, and Iran. One of the most important things to remember is that these types of cyber attacks, are often state-sponsored and well-funded, making them highly sophisticated and difficult to detect. It is essential for organizations to have a solid security infrastructure in place, including advanced threat detection and response capabilities, to detect and respond to these types of attacks. Moreover, it's important to stay updated on the latest threat intelligence and to be aware of the tactics and techniques that APT-28 and other APT groups use. This will help organizations to better protect themselves and be prepared to respond in case of an attack. In conclusion, APT-28 is a highly advanced and well-funded Russian state-sponsored hacker group that poses a significant threat to organizations around the world. It is important for companies and organizations to be aware of the group's activities, and to take steps to protect themselves. Another important aspect to consider is that APT-28 is known for its ability to adapt and evolve its tactics, techniques and tools. For example, the group has been known to shift its focus from political interference to cyber espionage and it is expected that the group will continue to evolve its techniques as the technology and the cybersecurity landscape changes. It's also worth noting that APT-28 is not only known for its cyber attacks but also for its disinformation campaigns. The group has been known to spread false information and manipulate public opinion, creating confusion and chaos. This highlights the importance of being able to verify the authenticity of information especially in the context of political events or crises. Given the highly sophisticated and well-funded nature of APT-28, it's important for organizations to work together to protect against such threats. This may include sharing threat intelligence best practices, and working with government agencies and other organizations to coordinate responses to cyber attacks. Organizations should also consider conducting regular threat simulations and testing their incident response plans to ensure that they are prepared to respond quickly and effectively in the event of an attack. In summary, APT-28 is a highly advanced and well-funded Russian state-sponsored hacker group that poses a significant threat to organizations around the world. It's important for companies and organizations to be aware of the group's activities, tactics, 
and techniques and to take steps to protect themselves. This includes implementing strong security measures, staying updated on the latest threat intelligence and working together to defend against such threats. Another way to protect against APT-28 and other APT groups is to have a proactive approach to cybersecurity. This includes regularly monitoring your networks and systems for signs of suspicious activity, implementing security controls to prevent and detect known APT-28 tactics and techniques, and having a plan in place to respond to a potential attack. Organizations should also be aware that the group is known to use a variety of tools and techniques to gain access to target systems such as spear phishing, watering hole attacks, and custom malware. It's important to have a robust email and web filtering system in place and to educate employees on how to recognize and avoid phishing attempts. Another important step is to regularly update software and systems with the latest security patches and to keep all software up to date. This will help to prevent APT-28 from exploiting known vulnerabilities in older software versions. It's also important to have a strong incident response plan in place including a designated incident response team to respond to any potential attacks. This team should be well trained and have the necessary tools and resources to respond quickly and effectively. Lastly, it's important to work with trusted cybersecurity partners and vendors who have the necessary expertise and resources to help protect against APT-28 and other APT groups. This may include incident response, threat intelligence, and penetration testing services. In conclusion, APT-28 is a highly advanced and well-funded Russian state-sponsored hacker group that poses a significant threat to organizations around the world. Organizations need to take a proactive approach to cybersecurity and work together to protect against such threats. This includes implementing strong security security measures, staying updated on the latest threat intelligence, having a robust incident response plan in place and working with trusted cybersecurity partners and vendors. Another important aspect to consider is that APT-28 and other APT groups are known to use various techniques to evade detection and stay in a network for long periods of time. This can include using advanced malware and custom backdoors, as well as leveraging legitimate tools and system processes to blend in with normal network activity. Therefore, Organizations should implement advanced threat detection and response capabilities such as endpoint protection, network monitoring and security information and event management SIEM solutions. These tools can help to detect and respond to APT-28's activities and other advanced threats. Organizations should also consider implementing security controls such as intrusion detection and prevention systems IDPS, firewalls, and network segmentation to create multiple layers of defense and to make it harder for APT-28 to move laterally through a network. Another important step is to regularly conduct security assessments, penetration testing, and vulnerability scans to identify any potential vulnerabilities in the network. This will help to identify any potential weaknesses that APT-28 or other APT groups could exploit. Additionally, organizations should consider incident response and incident management. This will help to minimize the damage caused by a successful attack and to quickly restore normal operations. Organizations should also consider working with incident response and forensic experts to analyze the attack, identify the scope of the compromise and to extract actionable intelligence. In summary, APT-28 and other APT groups are highly advanced, well-funded and persistent actors that pose a significant threat to organizations around the world. It's important for organizations to adopt a proactive approach to cybersecurity, implement advanced threat detection and response capabilities, and to work together to protect against such threats. This includes implementing security controls, regularly conducting security assessments, incident management and incident response, and working with trusted cybersecurity partners and vendors. Please like, subscribe and comment to help the channel to grow.